Hello everyone, this is Mamta Mund and today we will learn and solve exercise 9c questions 1 to 15 of chapter 9. Chapter name is Ratio, Proportion and Unitary Method of Class 6 of Composite Mathematics Textbook. Let's get started and solve some questions. Today we will learn and solve exercise 9c questions 1 to 15 of chapter 9. Chapter name is Ratio and Proportions. And topic is concept of proportion. Let's solve some questions. Now we will solve question number 4 first bit. First, second and third terms of a proportion are respectively 4, 6 and 8. Find its fourth term. We know if the four numbers A, B, C, D are in proportion then we can write H to B is proportional to C to D. That is the product of the extreme is equal to product of mean. AD is equal to BC. Product of extreme is equal to product of mean. We have to find the fourth term. Let the fourth term be X. This implies 4 is to 6. These ratios are in proportion. 4 is to 6 is equal to 6 is proportional to it is given 4, 6 and 8 and x are in proportion. 4, first, second and third terms forms a proportion. So, 4 is to 6 is proportional to 8 is to x. That is product of extreme is 4 multiplied with x. Multiplying 4 is to 4 and x. That is 4x is equal to multi product of mean. That is 6 multiplied with 8. Product of extreme is 4 multiplied with x. And product of mean is 6 multiplied with 8. Now x is, x will be, here 4 transpose to the right hand side. This multiplication 4 multiplied with x. So this multiplication changes to division. Now x, x, x is, x is, x is equal to 6 multiplied by 8 divided by 4. Now cancel 4 and 8. 4 divided by 4 multiplied with 2 is 8. Now 6 multiplied by 2 is 12. Now the fourth term is 12. So fourth term is 12. This fourth term now question number second B. First, second and fourth terms of a proportion are respectively 5.2, 3.9 and 3. Find its third term. Here first, second and fourth terms are given and we have to find the third term. Four numbers A, B, C, D are in proportion. We can write H to B is proportional to C is to D. That is AD is equal to BC. Product of extreme is equal to product of mean. Here first term is 5.2 is to 3.9. Second term is proportional to let the third term be X. So X is to 3. Now product of extreme is equal to product of mean. So 5.2 multiplied with 3 is equal to 3.9 multiplied with x. 3.9 x. Now x will be here in this 3.9 transpose to the left hand side this multiplication changes to division. So 5.2 multiplied with 3 divided by 3.9 and cancelling 5.2 and 3.9 with 1.3 that is 1.3 multiplied by 3 is 3.9 and 1.3 multiplied by 4 is 5.2 now cancel 3 and 3 4 so third so third term will be x uh, will be 4 So third term 
is equal to 4. So answer is 4. Third term will be 4. Now we will solve question number 5. Fill in the blanks uh, to make each of the following statements true. First bit is 7 kg is to dash is 14 meter is to 6 meter. Four numbers A, B, C, D are in proportion. Then we can write A is to B is proportional to C is to D. That is A, D is equal to B, C. That is four. product of extreme is equal to product of mean. Now 7 kg is to dash is equal to 14 meter is to 6 meter. We have to find this missing term. Let the missing term be X. That is 7 kg is to X is equal to 14 meter is to 6 meter. Now product of extreme will be 7 kg multiplied with 6. That is 7 multiplied with 6 is equal to X multiplied with 14. Now X will be this multiplication 14 transpose to the right hand side this multi left hand side this multiplication change to division so x is equal x is equal to 7 multiplied by 6 divided by 14 now cancel 7 and 14 7 multiplied by 2 is 14 now canceling 6 and 2 2 multiplied by 3 is 6 now x is 3 3 kg Both, are, will be, both will be thus equal unit that is 7 kg here kg unit is given so we have to write kg that is 7 is to 7 kg is to 3 kg is equal to 14 meter is to 6 meter We can verify this by 14 meter divided by 6 meter and between 14 and 6, 2 is the common ratio. So divide the antecedent 14 with 2 and the consequent 6 with 2. 14 divided by 2 is 7 and 6 divided by 2 is 3. 7 divided by 3. Here also 7 kg divided by 3 kg that is 7 is to 3. So this is correct. So 7 kg is to 3 kg is equal to 14 meter is to 6 meter. So missing term is 3 kg. Now second bit. Dash is to 63 liter is equal to 25 rupees is to 35 rupees. Four numbers are in proportion. A, B, C, D are in proportion. Then we can write A is to B is equal uh, proportional to C is to D. So here 25 rupees is to 35 rupees. 25 rupees divided by 35 rupees will be between 25 and 35. 5 is the common ratio. So 25 divided by 5 and 35 divided by 5. 25 divided by 5 is 5 and 35 divided by 5 is 7. 5 divided by 7. Let the missing term be x. x divided by 63 is equal to 5 divided by 7. We have to convert this 5 divided by 7 into equivalent ratio. That is uh, which number we have to multiply 7 we get 63 which is equal to the uh, consequent of the first ratio that is x divided by 63. If we multiply 7 with 9, we get 63. And we have to multiply the same number 9 with the uh, antecedent 5. So 5 multiplied by 9 is 45 and 7 multiplied by 9 is 63. So this is 45 divided by 63.
सो फोर्टी फाइव लीटर इज टू सिक्सटी थ्री लीटर इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फाइव रुपीज इज टू थर्टी फाइव रुपीज सो मिसिंग टर्म इज फोर्टी फाइव लीटर नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्ड बी टू हंड्रेड एम एल मिली लीटर इज टू टू पॉइंट फाइव लीटर इज इक्वल टू डैश इज टू फिफ्टी रुपीज वेब टू फाइंड द मिसिंग टर्म हियर टू हंड्रेड एम एल इज टू 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 पॉइंट फाइव लीटर एंड फिफ्टी रुपीज दिस फर्स्ट टर्म सेकेंड टर्म एंड द फोर टर्म्स आर इन प्रपर्सन वेब टू फाइंड द थर्ड टर्म सो Four numbers A, B, C, D are in proportion. Then we can write A to B is proportional to C to D. Here, two hundred mL milliliter divided by two point five liter. Here, antecedent is in mL, that is milliliter, and consequent is in liter. Both are of not of the equal unit. So first, we have to convert this liter into milliliter so that the antecedent and the consequent. Will be of equal unit. And we know one liter is one thousand milliliter. So two point five multiplied with one thousand milliliter. That is two hundred mL milliliter divided by two point five multiplied with one one thousand will be. Two thousand five hundred milliliter. Now cancelling zeros. Two divided by twenty five. Let the missing term be x. X divided by fifty rupees is equal to two divided by twenty five. Now we have to convert this two divided by twenty-five into the equivalent ratio. That is, which number we have to multiply the consequent twenty-five? We get fifty. We know in the table twenty-five, twenty-five multiplied by two is fifty. So we have to multiply the same number two with the antecedent two. Two multiplied by two, that is four. Four divided by fifty. So x will be four, four rupees. We can check this to for two hundred mL is to two point five liter four divided by fifty two hundred mL divided by two point five is four divided by fifty and four divided by fifty rupees is between four and fifty four two is the common ratio so divide four with two. And the consequent fifty is two. Four divided by two is two, and consequent fifty divided by two is twenty-five. Two divided by twenty-five, and this is also two hundred mL is two point five liter is also two divided by twenty-five. We got that two divided by twenty-five. So this is equal. So the missing term. Will be four rupees. Four rupees is to five rupees, fifty rupees. Four rupees is the answer. Now question number fourth be sixty-five boys is to hundred boys is equal to twenty-six girls is to death. We have to find this missing term. Four numbers A, B, C, D are in proportion. Then we can write A is to B is proportional to C is to D. Here, 65 boys divided by 100 boys. Now, between 65 and 100, 5 is the common ratio. 
to 65 divided by 5 antecedent uh, divide the antecedent 65 with 5, 5 and divide the consequent 100 with 5 5 is the common ratio so 65 divided by 5 is 13 and 100 divided by 5 is 20 13 divided by 20 and 20 equal to 26 girls is to dash let the missing term be x so 26 divided by x is equal to 13 divided by 20 now here the antecedent is 26 and the con here in the second ratio ante antecedent is 13 we have to convert this 13 divided by 20 into the equivalent ratio that is equal to the antecedent that is equal to 26 and we know 13 multiplied with 2 is 26 so we have to multiply the same consequent 20 with 2 so 13 multiplied by 2 is 26 and 20 multiplied by 2 is 40 which is equal to 26 divided by x now x is 40 so x will be 40 both the antecedent are equal 26 and 26 so x will be 40 40 girls so the missing terms is 40 girls subscribe my youtube channel then please subscribe my youtube channel and if you have any doubt then please write in comment section and i will reply keep learning keep watching and please subscribe my youtube channel thank you If you like this video then please click the like button and share this. If you have not subscribed my youtube channel then please subscribe my youtube channel and hit the bell icon for getting notifications of future videos. If you have any doubts then please write in comment section and I will reply. Keep learning, keep watching and thanks for watching. Please subscribe my youtube channel.